Wife bought me a present for Father's Day. She bought me a laser pecker. Well, I guess I better figure out how to use it. Here it is. It's a laser pecker. Not just your average everyday laser pecker. This is a laser pecker too. You'll notice the box is already open. It's because on Father's Day I opened it up. Why? Because it was like Father's Day and it's a really cool present. I opened it up. I couldn't figure it out. So what did I do? I stopped. I went to YouTube University and I started going through the videos. Here's the issues that I had. One, there's laser pecker, laser pecker two. This is a laser pecker two. Um, the first ones kind of don't really go with this one. The original laser pecker don't go with this one, so they didn't really help. And the other big issue I had is all these videos are being done by, by people that know what these are, how to get them up and running, and they have those little itty bitty pieces of information that I just don't have. I mean, I, I can figure out just about anything. Um, so today, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to figure this out. Now, this isn't going to be an unboxing. I'm not going to show you the packaging and all that stuff. I'm going to get it out. Um, I'm going to spread it out and we'll go over what is in here and then we'll try to figure out what the pieces are. We'll figure out how they go together and we'll figure out, we'll see if we can turn it on. And maybe we'll burn some wood. So uh, let's figure this out. Okay, I've got everything out of the package, and this is it. This is everything that it comes with, and here is the, the manual, and I just want to...
try to identify its stuff. Now, it looks like it came pre-assembled. Oh, by the way, the case that it came in is just amazing. It's all molded. It's, it's super nice. Um, this is the laser unit here. This is the electric stand. I think that's motorized, so it'll go up and down. Um, power cord and source. So this, that's this guy here. That's this guy. Um, it's got an assortment of cables, a ruler. We'll figure that out. So it says wrenches and set screws. Oh, that's probably to put this here together, but it already came together, but the wrench is over there. It came with uh, some little material here, a little piece of wood that's not flat, so I don't know how that's gonna work out. A little piece of metal. I don't know what type of metal it is. I'll have to hit it with a magnet and see if it's magnetic. Um, safety goggles. This appears to have a built-in safety shield on it. So depending on... Now, I watched some of the other videos, and you could do a bunch of stuff with this. So um, you, I'm assuming you could take that off and put it back on. Now, um, here are going through all the indications here uh, preview button the hell's a preview button power switch two indicators of some sort okay this is obviously not written by someone whose English was their first language which is fine um, anyway shows everything here um, what everything is I'm gonna have to look back at this a few times until I figure out what everything is. This is the quick uh, quick installation instructions for the electric stand. I think it's already together. But what I want to do is I want to get myself comfortable. I want to get myself sitting down and uh, see if I can put this together. And I think I'm actually going to move stuff around and move over to that other workbench over there so I can actually so I can actually sit. So uh, be right back. Okay, I've gotten relocated here, and the lighting's not all that great, but uh, it is what it is. One thing I didn't mention was um, this guy right here. This is like this roller thing that you could put uh, round objects in, and it will um, it will turn according to how you have it programmed. And that way you can etch on things as as it turns. It does a lot more. I'm not going to get into that because that is like uh, that's like next level stuff. That's already way out of my scope. So um, just going through the instructions here. Assemble the electric stand. Lock down the laser unit. It's already. It's isn't. Hold on. Oh. Look at that, I just took it off. So it was not locked down. It was installed, but not locked down. So um, this is the actual, ooh, look, this is, the packaging on this is, I don't know what that's for. Anyway, look at this packaging. It's just, it's just freaking amazing. Um, anyway, this is the, this is the actual laser head unit itself. Um, let's get this off. I don't know how to get it off. Oh, it just slides out. So it's just got some feet in here that engage and slide in. Now I've got my hands full. So this is the actual laser unit right here. And there's your connections. Um, two outputs, two USB outputs. Looks like a, a laptop input and a power input. I think, I'm not sure. Um, Anyway, this guy screws into here, locks in, very well made. This here is keyed for this guy under here. And since I'm not gonna be putting power to it right now, I'm gonna leave the shield off. Just, it'll make it a little easier to see things. Oh, and here's the shield. Oh, look, it has an exhaust fan on it too. 
So, which makes sense. I mean, you're going to be burning stuff. It, it needs to, to get it out of its way. So anyway, let's see if we can get this guy here powered up just to start with. Um, two, lock, lock the laser unit on the snag. Connect power supply and prepare to adjust height. Okay, so let me see if they're even show any pictures. No. They literally, it says, connect power, connect to power supply and prepare to adjust height. So I guess they're just like, okay, you should know how to do this stuff. So, I mean, it's not, it's not rock, this isn't rocket science. It's plugging stuff in. But it would be so easy to plug it in the wrong way. I probably should have run a power strip over here. So this, hold on a second. It's this guy. So we got a cord here. Just an AC, it looks like your standard AC cord. And it plugs into here. And there you go, and we'll plug it in over here. There we go, it's plugged in. And we have a green indicator, and I'm gonna move stuff around so I'm not banging on everything with the power cord. Um, so there we go, there's the power, there's the AC adapter, it's hooked up. Now I'm gonna plug in the, what do they call this? They actually have a fancy name for it, power bank. Oh, I guess if you read this, it would show you how to. No, it doesn't. Just tells you what everything is. Okay, so we'll uh, we'll set that over there. So I'm going to plug it in now. Normally, before I apply power to stuff, I like to have everything powered up. It it minimizes downstream arcing, but we're not there. So oh, and I think that's a power button. Oh, that's it. So there's your power button right there. Turns it on, let's turn it off. And they're staying, it may take a while for the capacitors to discharge, yep, there it goes. So it took it a second to turn off. Okay, so we now need to connect this to this, and that's an input. I don't know why you have input into here, but you've got output here, so I wanna get that connector, which, I don't know which one it is. I'm gonna, let's use this short one because I don't think I need the long one right now. Basically, I think there's two of these, oh, wait a second, yep. I think there's two of these type connectors. There's just a long one and a short one. So I'm gonna put this behind so it's out of the way. And move that there, that guy there. And let's turn this guy around. And the output, output, this doesn't make sense. Okay, well, I'm, I guess I'm not hooking it up right. There's your input. It's up, so I've got the wrong cord here, I think. And I need out. So this is out, it's using a USB out. I've got a USB out. That's 12 volt. Well, what is this? Maybe I don't need this now. Oh. See, this is, this is what I didn't understand. I didn't understand this stuff. That goes there. USB input, USB and they're they're marked wrong. That says USB, and it's not it's not going to a USB port. USB output port. Okay, so let's go back over to here, and we'll check power input. Uh, laser unit DC 10 10 is the round one. Okay, so I may have this hooked up wrong. This that I plugged in there apparently plugs in there. So I don't know what we need this for yet. Um, 
but we'll figure that out. So I've got the power coming in plugged into here. So that makes sense now if you're just going to do a quick little, hey, just plug it in. So AC cord into the uh, AC adapter, DC out of there, into there. So should be ready to go up and down. Um, Well, see, now it just gets into ranging method. Well, I don't understand what ranging method is. Um, so hold on. Let me turn this guy around. Does that do anything? No, it doesn't do anything. But there's some buttons up here. Well, I don't know what they do. Maybe, I, is there a power on button? Okay, preview button, power switch, hold number two. There's number two, this is the power. It's funny, it's power, but it looks like a fast forward. One is the preview button, that's this guy. Uh, oh, that's to squirt stuff so you can preview what you're gonna cut. Three, don't need, don't need, four, what is four? Okay, so I touched that. It appears to be on. And I think we're supposed to touch these buttons over here to make it go up, make it go down. And well, that didn't work. Oh, I'm missing a cable. This is not connected to this. That's this cable right there. So that's the little one. Let's turn this guy back around again. And it goes from that USB port down to here. So we'll grab the little one. What are you, oh, did, is that what I'm doing wrong? Here's a output 12 volt and that is input. Hold on a second. Okay. So when I said this is a let's figure it out video, no, that doesn't make sense. Because now I don't have, because it would make sense if I went from here to here. I'm just gonna leave it here. So let's just leave this guy here. So again, where are we? AC power, AC power adapter into here, okay? Um, but I've got this little guy and I think, well, I don't want to, I don't want to think. I just want to do. Okay. Yeah, like you've never said that. Okay, so that guy goes in there. And this guy goes here. And now I have an indicator here. Can you tell I work in a, I work in a wood shop? Um, so let's turn it on. I think that turned it on. This should take it up. And it goes up. Okay, so you can step it or hold it and it'll go up and down. Okay? Press to stop. Uh, this is like Christmas Eve trying to get the kids presents put together okay so there's two different ways to range things um, that's what this ruler is for that I've misplaced already so you got this piece of wood and I'm just you know what let's just use this as can you see that no, you can't see that but this piece of wood's too little let me grab another piece of wood. Oh, I got one right here. Those are too big. Okay, I got a piece of scrap. It's fir, pine, poplar, I don't know what it is. So, this height from the edge here to, to the work surface has to be 110 millimeters.
okay? Or there's another way to do it if you're metric challenged like me and aren't really sure if that was 110 millimeters. There's a little arm right here that comes down. So you raise this up. You bring it down. You know, my finger's gonna be right in the way here. Until it contacts that guy. There you go. Slide it out. Now your range is set. So now you're at the correct height for lasering, engraving, that's what it is. I couldn't think of the word. We'll just set that over there because I didn't understand it. Okay, um, and it kind of makes sense. I was wondering why are we doing ranging? We don't even know if this thing works yet or not. It's actually testing all this stuff here um, and shows you the two different ways to get the correct height. Uh, I suspect that if you, when you put this on, that this will like auto, it's the right height. Well, let's measure it. So we'll take this guy here, we'll set him here, we'll get that piece of wood out of there. And the height here is 110. So there you go, which I didn't know that, but that's 11 centimeters is 110 millimeters. It makes sense. It's just. It's just not something I work with. Oh, that guy's just tangled up in blue. So we got that. Oh, so next page, ranging method three, which is this guy right here. This guy comes in. Let's see if I can do it. I'm assuming the fan is on the back. Yeah, the fan is on the back. So it goes up and those, those Detents I showed you before, there it is. Push back and it's locked. And I'll bet, look at that, this fits right underneath there. So that's, that makes sense now. Okay, so we've done the three ranging methods. We've measured, we've put the little army thing down, and we've used the shield. Uh, so I think we're good. Okay, now, I'm not going to get into weird stuff right now. I mean, it's a laser pecker. I mean, how much weirder could it be? Anyway, it does tilting. This whole assembly here tilts. It's got a screw in here. And, I, you know, I'm not the best guy, best video to show how to do all this stuff. There are other videos that will show that. I just want to get it set up and get it fired up. So bear with me. So you can tilt it. This whole thing here, there's a screw here. You loosen it and it tilts, okay? You, you, and then it, let's see if it re-indexes back. You know what? I'm this far in, let me show you. So I'm gonna pull this whole thing off and we'll take a look at it and see what it does. Watch, I won't be able to. What I'm doing here. I don't know, what I wanted to see is if there were detents. But I, I kept, I keep turning it and I don't think I should be doing that. You know what, hold on a second. I mean, there's there, that's like straight on, so zero. Oh, there's a detent. So there are preset detents, whatever that angle is, 45. I don't, I don't know what the angle is. Um, I think that's 45. It doesn't look right, but anyway, let's see if it goes. Well. Anyway, so there are detents in there, so you can set and do different angles and stuff. Again, next level. Um, my goal today is to just burn some wood. So I don't want to do anything fancy. So. There's the, there's the tilting, and then there's, you can actually take it off, take this whole unit off here, and just, and I think I can do that, I think that's gonna be easy. You, know, you just unscrew this, and you could go up, and you could put it up against something, and laser engrave it. Now, I'm not saying laser engrave your name on your car. 
But just think about that for a minute. Anyway, let me put it all back together now. And so far I haven't had to use any tools. Okay. So while we're here and while we're doing all this, and I'm gonna use the hood because I don't wanna wear the silly glasses right now. Um, there's a fan here and the fan has a USB connection on it. Let's see if it spins up. Yep, it spins up. Let's see if I can turn it off. And you know, that's something I haven't seen is turning this off. I don't understand this power button. Okay, I don't understand the power button. You think if you push the power button, it would shut down. It's not. And because I'm going straight into the brick, there's no. Yeah, there's no buttons on the back. It's and according to the instructions, that is the. Bluetooth. Oh, that's the Bluetooth indicator. Uh, it's blinking. I don't know why. Oh, I did download the app on my phone. That doesn't mean I know how to use it. It just means that I did it. And all I literally did is um, to get the app right there. I just took my phone and shot it at that and it pulled the app up and it was free and Okay, I've got the app. Um, and I gotta find the app now that I got it. So there's the app. And this is where I started having issues like almost immediately because I'm gonna quit that. I wanna make sure that I'm attached. So I'm gonna go into my settings Bluetooth, paired device. Okay, I don't see any, I wanna pair a new device. Uh, Laser Pecker 2 pulled up right there. So I click on it. Um, turn solid blue, I don't know if that's solid blue. Oh, it's in the middle of pairing, so I probably shouldn't be touching buttons. It'll go solid blue. It's like a purple. It's supposed to be blinking now, but it's... There's something else I'm supposed to do. Oh, uh, available devices. And click on... It's got a printer connection for... It's weird, because... It says printing and it gives the Bluetooth indicator, but then down here it says um, laser pecker 2, but it has a printer. And I don't know what the pairing protocol is for this, but that's solid blue. Okay, I'm gonna go and see if we're paired. No, it's paired to my watch, which, I'm gonna tell it to forget that. I'm gonna tell it to forget that. And then I'm gonna come back. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Bluetooth. Pair a new device. Laser Packer 2. It says it's pairing. Maybe I'm supposed to do something else. Looks like it's under account. So let me go here. Let me go open the laser pecker two. Go here to account. Oh, Bluetooth connection. Okay. So you actually have to go into the app to do the Bluetooth connection. I don't know if I'm paired or not. Bluetooth connection. It sees it. Something beeped. 
please enter your email address here. Oh, so now I have to put my email address in here. They're gonna send me a safety pin, so be right back. Six pin safety, I don't know what a six pin safety. Uh, so let me go back here, let me go to here. Let's flip this up and I have to go to my emails and dump this. Okay, I don't know what my six pin safety connection is. So, hold on, let me see if it's in here somewhere. my six pin safety connection. Okay, so what am I doing? What am I doing? Got my email address. Maybe I'm supposed to put it in for the first time as my six pin safety connection. Oh, it says it's connected. Oh, I know. Okay, it says it's connected. Um, that light is still the same color. Uh, it hasn't changed. For all I know, it's been connected the whole time. Um, I would just like to see it make it go. Well, that's it. See, now here's the issue. Now what do I do? I have no clue what to do now. Nothing. No idea. There's something in here called a newbie guide. So, enter app material menu. So I hit examples. See, this is it. Registration. God. So I'm back here. Let me do this. So I have to put my e email address in. Please enter a safety pin here. I have no idea what that is. Six pin. And now I'm going to hit log in and see what it says. Your account does not exist. Yeah, I know. Enter your email address here. So I'll enter my email address. Please enter your verification code here. Oh, I don't know what. Uh, oh, oh, it says send code. So I have to send the code. Okay. So. Okay, it, it sent me the verification code. So I have to get a pen to write it down because as soon as I don't write it down I won't remember it um, so I have to get out of here to go into my email to open this up there it is verification code oh, four happy engraving yay okay and I'm gonna change it afterwards so um, Definitely China, laserpecker at chinahengen.com. So uh, that's it. We're done with that. I can get out of that. I get over here. I got birds in the shop. They're keeping me company. I'm doing the wrong thing. Laser pecker. There we go. Enter your verification code here 0849. Uh, now I have to put the other one in there, and I'm just going to do a 987. Six five four for now, and I'll change it after the video. 
987654. Do it again, 987654. Check mark, confirm, log in. I don't know if I'm, oh, log in successful. There we go. I mean, really, how hard could that be? Uh, if I was 14, 18, 20, I'd have been done 20 minutes ago. But I'm not. Okay, examples. Oh, wait, I want to go to that newbie guide. And now my app's not working. The app is not working. Good times, folks, good times. I mean, nothing on it's working. Let me see if my phone itself is working. Yeah, my phone's working, because I can go into other things. It's probably downloading spy software from my uh, from China onto my phone here, so they can listen to me talk all day long. Them and Google. Um, I don't know how to shut it down and redo this, and I don't want to reboot my phone. Well, I'm gonna have to. I'm gonna have to reboot my phone. I'll be right back. Okay, I've restarted my phone. Let's see if um, I rebooted Laser Pecker. Um, it appears that. I'm gonna hit quit. I'm gonna go into my account, account more. I'm gonna hit newbie guide, brought it back up here, enter app material menu. So I'm gonna hit examples. Bluetooth connection, it lost connection, so it's doing it now. It's reconnecting. Oh, it's actually blinking now. I'm gonna hit next. Due to security crime. Of Android 6 and above locations. That's funny. So we'll hit next. Hit next. Click refresh button if your engraver is flashing. Flashing a blue light. If not, but not showing the app. I don't know what that means. Click refresh button. Let's find out what a refresh button is. Everything's blinking now. Good job, Jeff. Preview. Power switch, laser. Okay, there is no refresh button. So I have to push that button that doesn't exist. Oh, wait, that was it up there. Never mind. It was it was on my app. Uh, So it's doing the little spinny thing, trying to connect. Oh. It says it's connected. So we'll hit this again. It says choose a picture. I'm just going to choose the uh, placement. Okay, so what I did, I know that was real quick. Um, I'm in the newbie guide. I just got the Bluetooth connection done. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hit quit. Okay, I'll start over. So examples. Um, so I did the Bluetooth thing. Um, it's connected. Here are some examples. Okay, and there's a there's a bunch of stuff here. And actually, I don't. I, it means nothing to me. So I'm gonna hit the little uh, laser pecker logo. It's up. Okay, now it gives me resolution, 1K, 1.3, uh, and 2K. It says auto crop too. Let's see what happens when you push that. Oh, it just made it bigger. I don't, anyway. And you have to do everything in millimeters. Um, so how wide do we want this and how tall do we want this uh, in millimeters? So I'll have to get my conversion stick out here. So, 
and they did it backwards. They got zero here for SAE, and they've got zero here for... So I don't know. I want it... Um, let's go 30 by... Let's auto crop. We'll do auto crop, and I'll just type in 30 here. Oh, and it did it. So it already knows the X and Y on this, the, the height and width. So I typed in 30, it plugged in 50. So I'm gonna hit OK there. File name, um, uh, laser, I'm just gonna call it LP1, LP, because I really don't care. Uh, and then I'll hit OK there. Oh, it didn't like it. What happened was I typed, it said file name, I just typed at, at LP for laser pecker in front of it, but it left all the, everything in there where it said file name. So, uh, not more than 20 connectors, laser pecker, L-A-S-E-R. Is it one word? Yeah, it's one word. P, oops, I can't spell pecker. P, uh, P, L A S. Actually, laser is supposed to be all caps. I'm just going to do them all caps. Laser pecker, okay? Now, it says start preview. So I'm going to hit start preview. Please verify the, the laser is in a workspace to secure. Always wear protective goggles. I hit the wrong word. Dang. Let's cancel that. We'll do start preview. Uh, always. Okay, so I hit yes. Password. Please enter your password here, which is 987654. I'll change afterward. And look at this. Okay, so it's given me the preview. And I'm going to zoom in here because this is kind of cool. So it's, it's showing me on here where um, where it's going to put the image, okay? So lifting height, let's see if I can lift it up a little bit. There we go. So I, right here you can lift it up and lift it down. Um, we already did the height of it, brightness of the beam, I don't know what that means. Uh, show center point. Oh, that's cool. So now what it's doing is it shows you right where the middle of it is. And continue preview. Okay, now quit preview. I'm going to quit preview because we kind of have it sort of where we want it. And I'm going to hit next. Okay, so it's sending the file over here. All it did was send the, the 3050, the height and width. And the material is wood. The power is at 100%. Depth is 5%. I don't know what that means. Passes. Do not engrave them. That's funny. Do not engrave on highly reflective material. And they gave me that, which, as you can tell, is highly reflective. So I'm going to hit start. Uh, 110. Okay, it's doing a countdown. I'm confirming. Please verify again, the laser workplace is secure, yes. They don't want little kids, in. and there you go. There you go, look at that. It's amazing. And boy, I see what they mean about the glasses. Even with that safety shield on there, you know, I've got nothing to prove. But don't look at it. Even through that, don't look at it. I mean, that's, that's freaking bright. I may bring uh, my my um, sunglasses out here. Yeah, just do not look at them. Now I know why they put so many of those uh, safety warnings in there. And we're almost done here. And there you go, it's done. I, I now have, um, ooh, it smells like burning wood. Uh, it's like a, it's like, it's like a campfire. And it's done. It did that whole thing. Now I want to do something without touching it. It has a re repeat button here. So let's say it's not dark enough. I'm going to hit repeat next. Or you can take this piece out, put another piece in. But what I want to do. 
is just go right over that same one again. And yeah, I'm blocking it because man, it's it's freaking bright. It's like a laser or something. We're almost there. Almost there. Now the depth five percent. Pretty sure if I would have, would have adjusted it, the laser power would have stayed at a hundred. It's the pass rate would have slowed down, so it'll probably take a lot longer and give you some depth. But that's I'm not going to do that today. So anyway, done. So I'm going to hit back home. It takes me all the way back up to the top of the app. Let's pull this out. And there you go. Get that in frame. So that's it. Uh, oh, you can actually feel it. You can feel it and you can feel the difference between the grain. Um, that's why it's probably really important to use something with a, a similar grain pattern. But that's, pre that's, that's pretty cool. Well, there you go. That was my absolute first use of my laser pecker and you got to watch. There it is, it came out okay. Now that I've got it up and running, I already have a list of things that I wanna do, starting with something my, my daughter uh, wants me to make for my son-in-law for his birthday. So it's not far away, I better get, I better get to work. Thanks for watching.